know what five bags you would replace from your handbag collection if you had the chance to. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is May and today we're gonna do a tag video actually that's been going around and I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and do one as well. It is basically what five handbags you would replace from your current collection. I thought it would be a fun video for me to film because I feel like I have the handbags in my collection that I particularly want and like. I try to steer away from like trendy pieces so I do my research when adding these handbags into my collection. But if I did have the opportunity to replace or just switch them up, I think there are a few that I totally would at the moment. And that is basically what we're gonna talk about today. All right, so getting right into it, the first one that I would replace is my Pochette Matisse in the monogram canvas. The only reason why I would really replace it, it would be to get the reverse monogram one. When I added this one back in 2018, I wasn't a huge fan of the reverse monogram. I think it was just brand new, so I really hadn't like completely gotten into it. However, slowly but surely it started to grow on me and you guys know I have the card holder, which I absolutely love and I have been wanting to add a reverse monogram handbag into my collection. However, I don't like to double up on my handbags and that is the reason why I've stuck with this one and haven't gone for the reverse. If you are aware, the Pochette Matisse definitely has a very bad reputation with glazing and just cracking and mine, thankfully, has never had any issues. So I'm worried that if I do replace it with another one, then all of that good luck would just go down the drain and that is the reason why I've stuck with mine. I love this bag. I think it's super versatile. I think it's fun. It's casual, which goes perfect with my wardrobe and my outfits. But I do feel like the reverse monogram would give it more of like an edgy look, which I'm all about from time to time. So that is the reason why I would choose to replace the Pushematis in the monogram canvas for the Pushematis in the reverse monogram. All right, so the second handbag might be a surprise for some of you, but hear me out. And it is the Polen number no. one in the nano size. Don't get me wrong, I am totally obsessed with this bag. I have bombarded you all with a ton of pictures on my Instagram styling it and just taking pictures of it. However, I do feel like I would love to replace it for the regular size. The Nano is a very small petite size. I do have a what's in my bag video, so I'll make sure to link any video that I have from any of the handbags that I'm mentioning down below for you guys. And in that video, I do show that you have to be very picky with the pieces that you choose to add for the day if you're using this bag. So initially, I was originally drawn to the regular number one. It's actually the tri-colored one, the one that totally caught my eye and I personally thought was gonna be the first one that I added into my collection. However, my style for handbags has slowly shifted to a smaller, more compact handbags just because I don't go into an office setting anymore, so I don't need to carry such large bags. And then for the day to day, I really don't carry a lot of essentials in my bag with me. So for that reason, I don't like to carry a big heavy bag for no reason. But I do gotta say that I feel like I would love personally if Polen came out with a right in between the Nano and the regular. They just need like one right here in between both of them. And that would be the perfect number one handbag in my opinion. But putting all that aside, if I were to replace this Nano, I would totally go with the regular size. I love the color selection that they have. I feel like you can do no wrong with this handbag because it's so classic, so it really fits into anybody's wardrobe and style. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely see in the future that number one being added and not having to replace this little cutie because I definitely see this as a forever piece. So I'm sure that some of these handbags might come to you guys at surprise, but I know for sure that if you have been watching my channel for a little bit, the next one will not. And that is my Gucci, Gucci Sima camera bag, Debbie, I think it's called. It has a very long name, so I'll make sure to leave it here for you. But as I've mentioned previously in other videos that I've done about this bag, I felt like it would be that perfect black bag for me and it really just didn't do it and I definitely realized what was the problem that it was missing and that was a top handle. Over the time as I've added more and more bags to my collection I realized that I am definitely a top handle girl. 
I love a good crossbody option, but a top handle is a must, and that is what this bag unfortunately lacks. However, it does fit a ton of things. I have a what's in my bag video on my reels and Instagram sharing what I fit inside when I use her for travel. And that's mostly when I use this one, whenever we travel, since it's so carefree and it's just a dark color, you know, I don't have to be babying it. But I would totally replace it for the Givenchy Antigona, the mini size. I'm loving that bag in the mock croc, you guys. I think it's so stunning. It's very edgy and casual, but it can totally be dressed up since thankfully the strap is removable and adjustable. And I feel like they both would fit the same amount of things. If anything, the Antigona will probably fit a little bit more. So I don't know. I go back and forth on this one if I want to get rid of it, if I don't. Currently, she's been sitting on my shelf for quite some time. This one, like I said, should come at no surprise of definitely replacing if I had the option to. All right, so the fourth handbag that I would consider replacing, I actually have truly considered replacing it, and that is the Neverfull in the monogram print in the MM size. Now, this bag has been with me for a lot of years, and she's definitely gotten a lot of use and a lot of love. However, I always contemplate on selling this one and getting the on-the-go tote. I've been eyeing that bag for quite some time, However, for me, one thing that definitely holds me back is the price point. I think it is a little bit overpriced for being an all canvas tote, but that's for another video altogether. So I would consider replacing the tote bag to get another tote basically just because as I mentioned, I don't use a lot of large handbags at the moment anymore. So if I have too many totes, they're just gonna be sitting there and not really getting the love that they deserve. So for that reason, I have considered selling this one and either going for the MM size on the on the go or the GM. I really would like the GM just because I feel like it would get a little bit more use since I would potentially use it for a travel piece as well. I do have my key balls, but not always do I have to take my key ball as a personal item. So for those days that I don't need that extra space, it'll be nice to just have a bigger tote to carry. So that's a thought. I might see what I do. Maybe I send it off to Fashion File and see what quote I get for it. I know these are going for such a high price right now too, just in the boutique in general. So that's basically just the reason why I would consider selling this one. I just don't wanna have so many handbags in my closet that I'm not using. I really like to rotate throughout my handbags and totes are just something that I don't gravitate to as often anymore. So it doesn't make sense for me to have two of basically the same style. Now before I get to number five, let me know down below which of these handbags totally surprised you because as I was making my list, I definitely caught myself off guard by a few and I'm sure that this one is going to be one of those that is totally going to surprise you all because if you've been watching my channel, I have mentioned that this is a forever piece and it is my speedy 35 in the Damier Ben print. So this is a forever piece for me because my husband actually gifted me this bag for our one year wedding anniversary in Paris in their flagship store. So it just has so much good memories to her that I would absolutely never ever get rid of her. However, if I did have the chance to replace her, I would replace her for the LV canvas instead of the Damier Ben. I have raved about the fact that I love this handbag in this print because it's just stood the test of time and looks basically new, if I can say that. However, I also have my Speedy B25 and that one is in the Damier Ben print. And as I don't like to double up in bags, I kind of don't like to double up in prints either. So for that reason, I feel like I would have loved to have had those two prints, which in my opinion are the most iconic to the fashion house. I feel like a good patinaed handle would have looked so nice with the LV monogram. And I do think about adding the LV Speedy actually in the size 30. And then I feel like that would be my little Speedy family complete. I would love to actually get her in my birth year, 1988 which I have come across some, but they've been in really, really bad condition. And I actually want something that's kind of held the test of time as this one has. So I have been on the hunt for that one. So that would basically be the one that I would replace this one if I had the chance to, which I know I could have the chance, but as I said, I would never ever get rid of this bag either. 
All right, guys, so that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know some of the bags were kind of like, okay, would you replace it or would you not replace it? But like I said, to be honest with you, I'm so content with my handbag collection. I will have an updated handbag collection video coming up soon, so make sure to look out for that. But I wanted to do this tag because I thought it would be so fun if you could just kind of rearrange your handbag collection. What pieces would you switch? Or which one would you just totally get rid of and not even add in another print or canvas? And that's basically what I wanted to share with you in this video. So let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear from you if you agree with me on any of the pieces or if you yourself have a handbag that if you had the chance to replace you would, which one would it be? As always, thank you guys so, so much for taking some time out of your day to watch today, and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye, everyone.